Lately, I've been using these guidelines to write using AI that heavily improves the language. So I'll just show you it here in action. I've, I've got this article here. I generated this article using AI. And as you can see, it's pretty bad. Uh, it uses a lot of weird kind of overly complex language that just feels vague and unhelpful. Um, it just sounds very AI generated as most of the articles do. So I basically just went into chat GPT and said, write me an article about uh, travel tips. And this is what it gave me. So let's see if we can improve it. I'm going to highlight the whole text here. And I've already saved this prompt in my notes here. So if I uh, just pull up rewrite in these guidelines, I'll let it run because we're going to replace it. But um, while it does that, I'll just show you what the actual prompt is. So I basically have taken all of these guidelines here and I've just pasted them in here and I've asked it to rewrite the text with these guidelines. So now it looks like it's probably done there. Yep. So now if we replace that, suddenly it's a lot better. Uh, it removed the lines, which I would probably want to keep, but it made it a lot more concise. It removed a lot of the AI language. It's much more of just kind of like a digestible outline here that I would actually want to read versus something that's just overly prosaic and complex. So uh, what are these guidelines here? And by the way, I should actually mention, I stole these from uh, Ben Tossel's post, although I don't think he wrote these. I think he got them from this subreddit here. But yeah, he said this guy found. So it's not his. Uh, belonged to Ben Atanasio, whoever that is on Reddit. But um, Ben is a great account to follow for AI stuff. So I do recommend following him. Uh, but anyway, guidelines. So use simple language. Avoid AI giveaway phrases. I think like delve is the classic one. Uh, be direct and concise. That makes it shorter. Maintain a natural tone. Avoid marketing language. Keep it real. Simplify the grammar, stay away from fluff, focus on clarity. And then I actually added this one, make it punchy, because I usually instruct AI to do that. And it makes it kind of uh, more engaging. So that is what we have in this custom AI prompt here. Now I've added this to the spreadsheet so you can copy it directly. And you'll probably want to edit it slightly depending on what you prefer. You could give it more tone instructions. You could add in an extra point like I did. Uh, but these are pretty good things that AI usually does. And it works for everything. So um, this was an article, but maybe I have a LinkedIn post. Maybe I have an email. All of these things generated by AI typically are amazing. So it's good to have a saved custom prompt. And of course, you can use this in ChatGPT too. So you can, you know, write or generate an article in ChatGPT or Claude or whatever. And then you can have it rewrite it using these guidelines. I just think it's easier to do it right within your notes because I can save the actual prompt there. So I'll include a link to this spreadsheet so that you can copy it directly and then just go play around with it, make some tweaks until you feel like the guidelines here are in a way that you would want your writing to be. So what I mean by that is, is this article here, you might be looking at that and being like, whoa, that's way too stripped down. It doesn't even look like an article anymore. It's an outline. I kind of prefer that. But if you wanted it to be more of an article, you could add that into the guideline to, you know, roughly match the length of the original text or something. I actually want to do the opposite. I want to make it more concise, but uh, to each their own, whatever you're using it for. You might also just be using it for a different function. So I think the important thing here is to have a prompt with your own guidelines. And if you think about it, that's kind of how writings always work.